The weather is perfect for camping. Hot, dry days, warm, pleasant nights. The weather is also perfect for wildfires if campers aren't careful. Fire restrictions are already up in many parts of the state, and that can limit how campers can use these. Uh, remember that if campfires are allowed, they have to be in established campfire rings, uh, usually that are, are that have a, a steel uh, liner to them. So, uh, so creating or, or or building a campfire ring is not is not allowed, especially you know a place where we have uh, fuels all around us. Uh, it's really not a good idea, and it really could could create some uh, some bad situations. Campfires are just one potential fire start risk this time of year. A stray cigarette a hot muffler on a chainsaw. Even your vehicle could ignite these dry grasses. And once that happens, a wildfire can follow and you would be responsible. So it includes more than just campfires, right? Uh, cigarettes, uh, when, if you're towing a trailer, uh, make sure you don't have chains dragging on the ground and creating sparks. Uh, when you go in you, and park, make sure you're not parking over the top of dry fuels uh, because that, that can uh, not only start a wildfire, but it, you could lose your vehicle potentially as well. Jacobson notes that the Montana Department of Natural Resource and Conservation, or DNRC, has a great website to find out all fire restrictions in the state of Montana. It's mtfireinfo.org. Outdoor activities are still very much possible here in Montana this time of year, with just a little common sense to make sure this doesn't turn into this. This week at the Cameron Bridge Fishing Access Site near Belgrade, Chet Lehman, MTN News.